for 2014, the Elvon Bottle Snook comes in two different models. One is a cable model, the cable new core, and the other is a boat model, which is the utility new core. We also added to the line a kids board, which is a 126. We listened to the riders and found that they were looking to be in more control of the board. They wanted to have more control of their presses, they wanted to have more control of their placement of the board on the rail. And so what we did was we came up with features like the 90 wood that allowed the rider to control the presses. The waist cutouts that allowed the rider to control the torsional properties. Softer layup, just a more lively softer layup. All models have our durable centered bottom. The 90 degree wood in the tip and tail on the cable new core allows the rider to control his presses a lot easier. The way the 90 degree wood is put together, it's all interconnected. And so what happens is the way the riders are pressing on the board, they're able to control it and it's not fighting against them as much, but still gives them a liveliness to snap out of their presses. The foam waist cutouts allow the board to land softer. It helps with vibrations on some of the choppy water courses, but it also allows the rider to control the torsional properties, where a board's always trying to find its way back to its original shape. With the foam waist cutouts, it's a slower, a more delayed response to fighting. So a rider's not fighting against the board, always trying to get back to its normal shape. The bottom has grip and release rails, which help uh, grip on landing and also helps grip on air tricks. The El von Vadelschnuck shape is longer and not wider. What we wanted to do was we wanted to have more stability on uh, features, but also we wanted it to carry more speed. Because we went longer instead of wider with the El von Vadelschnuck, the board actually is sized big. So for example, a 141 would be for somebody that rides a 138 or a 126 would be for somebody that rides a 123, 24. The flatter rocker allows for more speed, but it also allows the guys doing air tricks to control the arc. What I mean by that is a normal boat board wants to arc as you cut harder and harder, so it tells you when to take off. With a straighter, flatter rocker, you're able to control when you take off because as you load harder and harder, the board's not arcing and making you take off. Concave tip and tail adds to big ollies, but also it adds to the feel a rider has when he places his board down on a narrow rail. He can kind of use the concave to balance against the edges of the rail. With the new utility core, we were looking after the boat rider, and what we wanted to do was knowing a boat rider is going to be going up upwards of five or six miles an hour faster than the cable riders, we needed to address the boat wake, the bigger landings and the faster boat speeds. We did that with a glass that has carbon woven through it. So it holds a nice strong rocker and it also uh, gives you a little bit more snap that the boat riders are looking for at the faster speed. Here are some additional features for the L von Badelschnuck. New for this year is Stored Energy Plus. Explore a new way to ride a board with a late, tail-heavy approach and more control on rails. Who said your snowboard season has to end? Ride your wakeboard like your favorite wintertime deck. The latest, most forgiving kick off the wake. Grip and release technology allows a cable colony to hold a truer line without getting too much suction or getting stuck. Traditional wakeboards tend to do two things at the cable. They tend to arc too much and get stuck. With our new cable park specific Elvon Vital Schnuck, we are presenting GNR technology, allowing more freedom on air tricks. Park fins. A fin actually designed to be sessioned on rails. Wider profile, fatter bottom surface area, and a durable new construction, ready for anything in its way. Also designed for riders that like that fitness feel, with a less gratuitous grip on the water. Sintered base, the most durable non-stick base material we've ever tested on rails. With our exclusive base, no obstacle is safe on cable parks with our jib friendly material. Monocoque, stealing technology from our Formula One mates. What happens here is the bottom glass actually wraps around the top, ensuring a stronger flash line, 
no longer the weakest pawn, but incredibly stout. Crypto cable. Different fibers are brewed up and then woven together to make a stronger compound. The crypto cable surrounds the profile of the board and it's fused together with a mod core core. Combined with a monocot glass, this cable makes the sidewalls the strongest part of the board, not the weakest. In addition to making the board stronger, it also makes it torsionally stiffer. This allows the rider to experience more energy on the rail of the board. While other companies use plastic that makes the board a little bit heavier, this fiberglass rope keeps the weight down without sacrificing any of its structural integrities. Timing glass. This allows to transfer the energy of the board from the tip to the tail. As a rider ollies onto a rail, they will notice a softer flexing tip and tail, giving them more control and feel. This unique glass is able to absorb more energy before it rebounds it. The lightest glass we've ever tested has more contact points on rails and unique stored energy snowboard feel off the wake. Diamond glass.